So the independent learning task then. I want you to, um, I'll just quickly talk you through this then. What's happening here? A lot of information here. So some of these questions can be quite worded. So this is saying, the number of sweets in a bag are rounded to the nearest 10. So bag A has 20 sweets, bag B has 30 sweets, but they've been rounded. So factories and uh, wherever you tend to have mass production, you tend to have um, estimations. Machines kind of uh, can have bags with with some variation of sweets in the bag because the machine is doing this. So in that case, um, we have averages and we have statistics that can look at that. So what's happening here is that it's being rounded. So um, the number of sweets in the bag rounded is 20 in bag A. Uh, in bag B, the number of sweets rounded is 30. Okay, what is the maximum possible total amount of sweets? Bag A plus bag B. So what is the total amount of sweets? Bag A and bag B. If you think, well, it's 20 plus 30 is 50, that's not true. Because look at the working out. If that's been rounded, we find the bounds for A. Okay. And it looks like there's bounds for B. Then it takes the maximum value of the bounds. So this arrow here explains this column. What is this column here? I know the question is for maximum, but how did it get 24 and 34 from the bounds here? Okay. Then from them to bounds, them to look like we are doing maximum total is maximum A, maximum bag A, plus maximum bag B. So these two numbers are being added to give 58, not 50. So actually the maximum is 58, not just adding them to. Why? Because they've been rounded. So the actual value could be more than that. How much more than that? Well, this is saying it's that much more than that. So then the second question, question for you is, can you explain this solution? So two things you need to think about is from this question and this working out, here is the maximum values from these bounds of A and B. Explain this column. Second part is, can you explain this solution? Explain this solution. So pause the video, give yourself about two to three minutes, have a go at these questions, and when you're ready for the explanation, press play. Okay, answers. So when I explain this, let me just write this out here. So right here we have the bounds for A. How to find the bounds for A? Where's well, to the nearest 10? 10 divided by 2 is 5. So you plus and minus 5 to 20, so you get 15 and 25. Okay, let's look at this inequality for a second. From this inequality, S stands for sweets. Sweets can be between 15 and 25, but less than 25, for you to round to 20. And that's true because 15 round to the nearest 10 will give me 20. So that's a value in this. Another value that S can have will be 16. And that's also true. All the values in here, if you rounded that to the nearest 10, you would get 20. 17, you'll get 20. 18, you get 20. 19, you get 20. 20, of course, round to the nearest 10 is 20. Now it switches. Now these ones round down to 20 because that's four or less, so they'll go down. This is 22, 23, and 24. But not 25, because 25 will round up. Okay, so the largest possible value S can have here would be 24. Okay, if I did the same thing with 25, and 35, we will see 25 will round to 30, 26, 27, they're all going to round to 30 because in this interval, 28, 29, of course 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34. It can't be 35 because 35 will round up to uh, 40. So all these will round down. Why does it stop at 4? Because the rounding rule is 4 or less you go down. So that means 4 or less I go down. So the maximum value you can have here is 34. Now the question I have is this. Why can I not have... Let's go for green. Why can I not have 
Why does it not make any sense to have 24.5? Why does this not make any sense? Why does that not make any sense? Because what are we dealing with here? We're dealing with sweets. You can't have 24.5 sweets. It just doesn't make any sense. The decimals and 19.5, none of these make sense. Because we're dealing with actual sweets. Either there is going to be 24 sweets or 25 sweets. So the maximum can be 24 and it can't be 25. You can't have 24.5, you can't have 24.6, you can't even have 24.1 or 24.9. None of them make sense. So the maximum of this number of sweets is 24 whole numbers. Because it's sweets, we are only dealing with whole numbers. Same thing here. I can't have 34.5 sweets. So that I can't have 35 and I can't have... 34.5, that would make absolutely no sense too. How can you have 34.5 sweets? So the maximum whole number less than 35 is going to be 34 because we're dealing with sweets. Remember this. So when it's sweets, the decimals don't make sense. So the answers have to be, in this case, the natural numbers. Okay, this is the first lesson we did. These are all, S has to be a natural number. Or another way to say it is it's, it's a whole number. Can't be decimals, basically. Decimals don't make any sense here. Okay? Has to be a whole number or natural number. Sweets. That's why we have 24 and 34 as a maximum. It's important because this is a confusing aspect of this topic. Then the total is total sweets. Total sweets is going to be an addition. How many are in sweets A, how, uh, in bag A? How many sweets are in bag B? And you want to know the total sweets in bag A and bag B. It's going to be total sweets in bag A plus the total sweets in bag B. That's what's happening. The maximum total is bag A plus bag B, which is the maximum in bag A is 24. Maximum in bag B um, is 34. And you add them up, you get 58. That's the maximum total sweets that could be here. Because these numbers have been rounded. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Examples.